Hey everybody, one that always bored, never boring. Recently, the good folk at Goblin King Games got in contact with me and asked if I'd be interested in taking a look at some of their products. Of course, I said yes, and they sent me a pack of their Goblin miniatures for the wonderful skirmish game Moonstone. If you watched my video unboxing those miniatures, you will know that I fell in love with them instantly, and I immediately decided that I wanted to get some more and in fact decided that I would like to get into the game of Moonstone and start playing it properly. I managed to convince my wife to purchase the hardback core rules book, which I will be showing in a future video, but then I also purchased a deck of cards and some pirate goblins, which had caught my eye, and you can see those in a previous video on the channel. However, after placing my order for those products, Goblin King Games asked if I would like to receive an additional item with my order by way of a thank you for the coverage that I had already given the game. Of course, I said yes. And this is what they sent me. They sent me Bristlenose, one of their monster packs. This is a single resin miniature and it is a river troll. And look at the artwork. It is wonderful. This is such a a beautiful piece of art. Bristlenose is a troll that can be uh, aligned with the goblins that I already have and in fact he's going to fit in very nicely with my goblin pirates. Let's take a look at the miniature. The miniature is a big old chunk of resin and yet comes in surprisingly few parts. We have just two frames, one for the body and then one for the hand, the face and the little wheelbarrow which he has fashioned into a pauldron and has probably borrowed from El Capitano, the pirate goblin. As with the other miniatures that I have from this game, the casting is good, the detailing is excellent. There doesn't appear to be a huge amount of cleanup here. We have a little bit of resin feathering which we have seen on other miniatures from this range. That should clean up very nicely very little effort, just a light brushing, maybe a little bit of work with a mold line remover or a craft knife, but that is really nice. I love all the little details hanging on the rope around him. And in fact, I noticed on the back, he appears to have a spatula hanging off of him. Why not? Saucepan down there, lovely. And as with all of the Moonstone miniatures, they are just packed with character. Look at Bristlenose's face there. He is a curmudgeonly grumpy old troll. I love him. I think that is a beautiful piece of work there. So much detail, so much character. He has what appears to be bandages around his hand. And then as I mentioned, he has a wheelbarrow which he has attached to his body for some additional armour. Why not? And just so you know, he comes on a 40mm base. All Moonstone character packs include the character cards you need to use those particular miniatures in your game. So here we have Bristlenose's character card, which has his upgraded attack on the reverse. And I will be talking in a future video about what all these different abilities and statistics mean, because I am hoping to film at least one playthrough of this game in action. So. You can see exactly what it's all about, but I do have to point out that this character card did fill me with warm, fuzzy nostalgia when I noticed that the ability at the bottom of the card is Vomit. And this reminded me of the glorious old Hammer days when I used to field my green skin army with a unit of river trolls who would like to vomit on people whenever they had the chance to. That's nice to see, I like that. But I'm sure you want to see the miniature assembled, so let's do that now. And here is Bristlenose fully assembled. And what a glorious chunk of resin he is. This is a lovely miniature. I cannot express how much I like this miniature. It's beautiful. Went together pretty well. There are a few areas where we're gonna need a little bit of liquid green stuff, just there with the hand attached. And under the neck there, although you can't really see it. Cleanup was fine. There's probably a few other little bits of cleanup to do before I actually paint him, but I cannot wait to get a brush on this guy. I think he's going to look splendid. 
So there we have it, that is Bristle Nose the River Troll. Thank you so much to Goblin King Games for including this miniature with my order. I'm very, very pleased with it. And I guess this is the end of the video, but I'm going to add a small personal message. If you were only interested in the troll, if you're only interested in seeing what that was all about, you can pretty much shut the video off at this point. But if I could take one more moment of your time. When Goblin King Games originally contacted me, one of the main reasons they did that is because they were gearing up for a Kickstarter campaign. And by the time I post this video, that Kickstarter campaign will be in the last few hours. It is fully funded, and in fact, Goblin King Games have unlocked all of their planned stretch goals. And I said to Goblin King Games in that first instance that I was happy to look at the game, but I'm not well positioned to promote a Kickstarter campaign because I don't personally back Kickstarter campaigns. But Moonstone has made me break that rule. Before shooting this video, I went to the Kickstarter campaign and I backed it. And this is the first time I've backed a Kickstarter campaign since 2017. And I really wanted to mention this in a video because I know so many of the people that subscribe to my channel have heard me say time and time and time again, I don't back Kickstarter campaigns. But I really felt that I wanted to in this case. The main purpose of the Kickstarter was to create the Arising Campaign Book, which introduces campaign play to the core game of Moonstone and also expands the narrative, introduces new concepts to flesh out the world of Moonstone. And I decided to back for a couple of reasons. The main reason, of course, is I have already seen the quality of the miniatures the Goblin King games produce. I have already seen the quality of the rules. I've already tinkered with the game. I already have a number of their products. And I'm excited about the game and the world they've created. So, of course, getting involved in a Kickstarter that will expand that world and offer me new miniatures for that world is something that's going to interest me. Furthermore, Goblin King Games is a UK-based company. They are a relatively small company, and I really felt like I wanted to get behind their project. Thirdly, they seem to have had a very strict idea of what they wanted to do, and they have not been tempted to go beyond that. On the last day of the Kickstarter, they have unlocked all 11 of the stretch goals they planned, and they have said, we're not introducing any more. Introducing any more stretch goals would extend the lead time on the project, and we want to make sure this game gets to people as soon as possible. And I really respect that approach. I respect the idea of this is what we wanted to do. We've done it. Yes, we could perhaps draw some more money in by adding in an extra stretch goal, but we're not going to do that. So those are the good reasons that I've decided to back. There are, of course, some, I guess, inverted commas, bad reasons. The campaign includes three exclusive miniatures. I'm not a fan of Kickstarter exclusives. Two of the exclusives are alternative versions of miniatures you can already get. So that's not so bad, but the third one is an exclusive miniature that does have new gameplay, it does have new rules, and that was something I didn't want to miss out on. But the biggest thing, and I would say something that for me personally, it feels like a bit of a misstep for Goblin King Games, they are only producing the Arising rulebook in hardback for Kickstarter backers. When this expansion goes to retail, it will be a paperback book. I have the core rule book for Moonstone. It is a hardback book. I really did not want to have one hardback book and one paperback book. And the only way to get that hardback book was to back the campaign. I do feel they may be shooting themselves in the foot just a little bit. I think that the retail version of the Arising book should be a hardback as well. But of course, I do understand a smaller company using any methods possible to get as many people into their Kickstarter as they can. And I guess it's worked for me. So I'm not saying this because I'm suggesting you should go and back the Kickstarter yourself, but having been someone who has said numerous times that he doesn't back Kickstarters, I felt I should share the fact that on this occasion, I have. And at some point in the future, towards the end of the year, when all of my Moonstone products arrive, including my exclusive miniatures and my exclusive hardback book, you will know why that is. But that is absolutely enough from me. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.